Danielle, congratulations. Back into the quarterfinals here at the Australian Open. You are such a beautiful ball striker. Today you hit 45 winners. How do you rate your performance out here today? You know, I, I think I had my ups and downs during the matches, um, mentally and physically. Um, Elise was really uh, working me to the max. Um, she's one of the best anticipators on tour, and so sometimes I was having to win the points five, six, seven times. Um, some of the points were incredible, how many balls she was getting back, and uh, shots that I thought were winners, sometimes they weren't. And uh, so I had to try to put some pressure on her and come up with some big shots, because that's kind of all you can do against someone that's such a good anticipator. <clears throat> yeah, you both played an incredible match. Uh, this is the first time in a major that you've come back from one set to love down in consecutive matches. I'm just keen to know what you were telling yourself after you lost the first set today, in particular on change of ends, changes yeah, between the sets. I think today it was especially physically really tough for me. Um, you know, I, I played a long match the other day, I think two and a half hours. I played a doubles for an hour and a half. I spent about five hours on court. And so I had to make a lot of technical adjustments to be able to get myself to be comfortable moving around and, and especially serving. So that was a big challenge. And, and now I need to kind of focus on getting ready for uh, doubles again in the next uh, hour and a half. So, yeah. <laughs> Well, I, I'll just, I won't keep you too much longer because you do have to go and play doubles, but you just have a small little team over there that you travel with. How, much, how important have they played in, in your performance um, getting here today? Oh, an incredible role. Um, Marty has helped me since I graduated from college. He was one of my biggest supporters from day one when I turned pro. And to be able to have the support and friendship means so much to me. I can always look at him. I know that he cares about me on and off the court and always wants what's best. So whether that's winning matches or doing whatever I have to do to, to be a, my best as a person. So um, I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, boyfriend, it's awesome to be able to have the support and to have him here and uh, take time off of work to be able to <laughs> accompany me. And, and I can look at him every time and he's always supportive and, and uh, energetic and, and trying to fire me up when I'm down. So super fun and, and uh, Des as well. Thank you for coming out and helping me get through my singles. I, I hope we can kick some butt out there in doubles this afternoon. <laughs> well, we're gonna go and let you get ready for that doubles. Congratulations, Danielle. You played fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, Danielle Collins. Yeah, back to back, long, tough three setters. Previous three setter went two hours and 35 minutes. This one, two hours, 51 minutes. She's got a doubles to play. She's a busy woman and uh, let's hope the, uh, the back holds up. It looks as if it was uh, a little tight to say the least, but um, just rewarded again, I think, for her aggression, Jill, and uh, goes through now to play the winner of Halep and Cornet, so uh, I think it's easier. It's going to be another long match. <laughs> yeah, she's going to have to go rest up and get, get ready for doubles. It was nice to see her partner, too, in the stand supporting her, Desiree Kravchik. They've been... They had a great doubles match the other day, so they're going to go out there this afternoon. But yeah, I think the aggression was the key there. I think, um, you know, she she knew that Elise Burtons was going to run down a lot of balls. And I think not only did she bring the aggression, but the fact that she was able to consistently have that. And I think she started at the beginning of the sec second set to really up the level and she never backed down.